Now we're gonna get into the exciting part of the shoe. Really the reason that the Wavy is different. What's up guys, my name's Levi and this is Shred Shop connecting you to skateboarding and today we're doing a first look at the Vans Wavy Shoe. This shoe is a brand new shoe from Vans, you guys might have seen it, it dropped before with Dime, one of the biggest, dopest brands in skateboarding and this one is a Justin Henry colorway. Let's get into it. Justin Henry has been seen skating these shoes all over his Instagram and if you go through the comments, there is hundreds of comments, people being like, what is that shoe? I need it. How do I get it? What's it about? We're gonna get into it. What's cool about this shoe is that it was fully designed and made by Vans Skateboarding. So it's not in any of the other Vans lines. This is a Vans Skateboarding shoe. They also had a ton of pros put a ton of their input in, do wear tests, skate these shoes a bunch, and give ton of feedback onto it, which means that it's really ultimately a team shoe put together with all the pro minds that are on Vans. First, we're gonna talk about the tech of the shoe, and then at the end, we're gonna talk about the upper of it, which is the real story of why this shoe is amazing and what makes it different. So first thing, we flip the shoe over, it's got a waffle cup sole. This is a sole loved by all. It is our best-selling sole, and the reason is it is super comfortable, really durable, giving you a ton of protection, so it's a step up from the vulcanized sole that Vans usually rides, but it's not a crazy cup sole that's stiff with no board feel. This is the best of both worlds, and it's crazy grippy with a new rubber compound than the original vulcanized sole. When you take a look at the side profile of this shoe, usually the sole just goes front to back on a lot of Vans shoes. This one's got a lot more going on. Again, probably playing into the name of the wavy, but we got rubber coming up here, we got matching leather up there, you got the rubber of the sole coming around here, it's up and down and up and down, making it kind of look like waves or shark teeth. Honestly, it's just a cool new style based off the same thing, also showing what's all inside the shoe. Next, you pull out the footbed, it's a Vans Pop Cush insole or footbed. It's super comfortable, you team that up with the waffle cup, you've got a crazy comfortable durable shoe that is gonna be so good for jumping down stuff, for landing primo, for going up and down stuff. Honestly, for an old man like me, it is perfect. And it runs in all of the van skateboarding line. So good to know. Now we're gonna get into the exciting part of the shoe. Really the reason that the wavy is different. When you take a look at the toe on this colorway, the Justin Henry Espresso colorway, the toe cap is made of kind of this texturized synthetic, almost looks like leather on the top there, but it looks really cool, tells a different story, and underneath it, there's a Dura cap, which you know is rubber underneath the toe cap, so when you skate it, it lasts even longer. When you look at the upper, you change it off to the side, you notice it kind of looks like there's a lot going on. One of the reasons for that is behind the Vans Wave there, there's this rubber compound. It's kind of mixed in with the mesh there, and what it is, it's a new lacing system that Vans is doing on the Wavy here, where it goes up and it actually connects to where the eyelets of your lace go in. So when you pull your shoes tighter, it's actually form fitting your whole foot, not just cinching the front forward, which is gonna suck your foot down and give you a lot more long lasting life in the shoe. So it's not just gonna bulk out and sag out over time. It is gonna be way more comfortable, way more form fitting, and probably gonna be an easier shoe to skate because of that. When you look at the shoe and you get it up close, it kind of looks pretty tech because there's a bunch of different materials. A big reason for a lot of that too is the venting system. Sometimes when you pick up bulky shoes and you put them on, they look dope, but then you skate them or you, your feet sweat in them and they get super kind of swampy foot. This one is not gonna happen. There's so much breathability all mixed throughout. So all the different layers aren't gonna keep the heat in. They're actually gonna give you great airflow. As well on the tongue, there is a Lux liner. So a lot of shoes have elastics that go down like this, or some have a spandex elastic. This one, as on some other van shoes like the Walker 2, there is a spandex elastic that actually goes all the way around the whole front of the foot like this. The reason for that, it's kind of like a slip-on, so it's gonna keep snug your toes down 
so they're not gonna lift up. Again, not constricting, it's not gonna hurt your toes. It's gonna feel nice and snug, kind of like a slip-on. That's one of my favorite things because I noticed that shoes bag out. So with this lacing system, it's gonna keep snug. With that elastic, my tongue's not going anywhere. It's gonna keep my foot down. So this shoe is Justin Henry's pro colorway in this shoe. He's got a Henry embossed hit on the heel there on a premium leather. When you pull open the insole or the footbed, it says Henry and it's a pattern that he's liked on the inside, kind of like a brown cow print camo on there. We think this is one of the best wavy colorways that has come out. Because it's more muted, you can rock it with a ton of different fits. Uh, it is an espresso black and a charcoal kind of all mixed together. It's not too loud. Really dope looking shoe. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This is Levi's Shred Shop connecting you to skateboarding. And this was a first look at the Justin Henry colorway in the wavy shoe from Vans. Guys, let us know below what you think of this shoe. Do you think it's dope? Think it's good skatable? Whatever, let us know below. I think it's kind of a sick shoe. Stay tuned for comment of the week. Guys, we've got a spicy one today. Comment of the week. It's from my dog, Doug Swainson. If you watched one of our previous videos, we put out a poll. What does Levi look like? What kind of celebrity does he look like? Someone said that I might look like Badger from Breaking Bad. First of all, screw all you guys that said I look like him. Now, Doug Swainson, also a big shout out. And also, screw you too. He said, Levi looks as if Badger was really into cocaine. Doug Swainson, you could, I hope that you fart in your bed so much that uh, you go into a coma for a day from the methane gas. All right, peace everyone. As well, Doug Swainson, fart yourself.